Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning back into my real estate video vlog. Um, so today I want to talk to you about a few things that you want to avoid once you have a pre-approval. So number one is you definitely don't want to accrue any more debts. So whatever current debts you have right now, it's going to impact your DTI. Your lender will have already calculated your DTI. And if you're on the upper bound, you want to be very mindful of what you're spending um, your credit cards on. Um, item number two here that I have on my sheet is you want to make sure you don't open up any more credit cards. Um, just keep the current credits that you have. In addition to, you want to make sure that you don't close any credit cards. Um, and then on top of that, you want to make sure that you don't pay down your whole entire full balance of any debts you currently have. I know that's counterintuitive, but you know banks want to see, to, see you have some type of credit history. And if you and pay off all the balances, then that's gonna raise a few red flags. Um, your lender will actually identify which creditors will need to be paid off. Um, they may need you to pay off before close of escrow. Um, in addition, they will need some type of documentation. You will need a formal letter from the creditor. It can't be a screenshot, snapshot of your most recent um, payment that's paid off the particular balance. Um, number th the tip number three is you wanna make sure that you're not making any large purchases such as not buying a boat, not buying a camper, not buying a car. Well, there are going to be some exceptions. Um, if you happen to knock on wood here, um, get into a, an automobile accident um, and you need a vehicle to be able to commute to work. That's understandable, but do make sure they check in with your lender to make sure that this will be okay. Um, sometimes lenders will recommend you actually sell off your vehicles if you have a high too much too high of a DTI um, you're gonna have to sell your cars and or you may have to just trade in a vehicle just to reduce the debt so for example if you have a truck that's a $50,000 debt and they're saying well you need to reduce or eliminate that truck payment which is $750 at least you can trade it in for another vehicle that might be 30,000 right but at least your monthly payments are gonna be 450 instead of 750 um, just some strategies okay if you need a purchase refinance you don't want to refinance or trade up or trade down in terms of car payments um the other thing is you definitely don't want to be close signing for anybody okay and you definitely super critical you don't want to lose your job you don't want to quit your job you don't want to change jobs um that's a huge red flag um of course because it makes want to know that you're going to be able to make those mortgage payments um, if you do want to change your job or quit your job do that after the close of escrow okay you want to talk to your lender don't tell them you're planning to quit your job just tell them once they're fully funded um, then the lender will give you a go ahead of yes you can now go and purchase furniture appliances um, or then you can quit your job okay and then the other item is you don't want to move money around um, banks are going to be a little suspicious if you're money moving money around and it all has to do with all the um, you know, overseas money and laundry and money. So you want to make sure whatever bank accounts you have, just keep them the way they are. You need large deposits. They need to be documented. Uh, the lender will be notified. The lender will want up-to-date bank statements in addition to if your pre-approval has been um, more than three months or older. Okay, so those are all some of the tips I want to recommend to you that once you have a pre-approval, what things not to do to destroy escrow or to destroy your opportunity of purchasing a home. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching again. Bye-bye.